Yeah, we, we every four years we get to bring a team over and go on a foreign tour, and so with our ties with Australia, we, we come to this is our third time we come to Australia. So we uh, we came over on uh, the 9th of August and went to Sydney for about four days and played two games up there, and then we came down to Melbourne um, for four days and uh, we played two games and, and uh, so after we got done playing yesterday we were off and then one of the things we really want to do is come out to Maryborough and see where uh, Matt Delva, Delva grew up and was from. We were hoping he would be able to be here but because of his uh, boomer team commitments and qualifying for uh, the Worlds against New Zealand. He couldn't make it, but we still want to come out here just uh, out of respect to him and his family and all they've done for our program and, and just uh, get to get to know a little more, more about his, his situation and where he grew up. And so it's it's uh, it's a different kind of fun thing, but it's, it's fun. Our guys really, we have so much respect for him. He, he's done, I mean, he's like the best leader we've ever had, the best, one of the best attitudes we've ever had, one of the best players we've ever had. So we, uh, we just felt like it was the right thing to do, come out here and see his family and, and, and see where he grew up. So it, it's really, it's really special. Yeah. Uh, when we brought him in, we brought Matt in. He uh, he had just finished up his World 19, under under 19 World Championships, and we thought we had we thought he'd be a good player. We didn't realize he'd be what he turned out to be. We thought he'd be ready to play and help us. But his first year went to the Sweet 16. He started, and then he just kept getting better every year. His sophomore year is a little better, and then his junior year he started. We put him in the point guard, and he ended up being player of the year and senior year. He had an outstanding season. So he had a, he did it as well as you could do it as far as a college career, and his family did it as well as they could do it. Just the support and being part of the, being part of the program and being loyal and just, I mean, you couldn't draw it up any better. And Matt would go down as one of the, one of the best, if not the best player to ever play at St. Mary's. So, but he, he goes way beyond just being a player. He's, like I said, he's, I think he's the best leader I've ever coached. And he's, uh, no guy's ever committed more to a program than Matt. So he ended up being an academic All-American. So he did it on the court, off the court, in the classroom, leadership, in the community. And uh, that's why we're out here. He's, he's a special guy. He's a special guy. Not just to our basketball program, but to our whole school and our community, Moraga. I mean, <clears throat> you can't really appreciate it unless you're over there, but uh, he, he's a hero over there. So um, to us, he's just a he's just a, a great piece of our family that, that uh, we have a ton of respect for. Now that I'm done coaching, I can be his biggest fan. So, and that's how our program is. We're, like he's, he's uh, I, he's gonna make that. He's gonna make that NBA too, and so that's hard to do. And what's amazing is coming from a town like this. I mean, we're driving hours. How the heck did he end up being as good a player as he is coming from here? But it's a, a great story for other kids in small towns, and, and we have those in the U.S. And uh, so it, it's neat that they have them in Australia too. And so it, it's gonna be fun watching. He's gonna be. I think you know things go right. He stays healthy. He's going to be a you know four-time Olympian, and I don't think there could be anything that would make Matt more proud than representing his country. 